Hey guys, today I'm going to discuss why I use 24mm lenses for portrait photography. I'll be using Sony 24mm f1.4 GM lenses with A7M3 for the photo shoot in case you guys are interested. First reason is that 24mm helps to exaggerate the subject's movement. So in this photo, whatever the model's movements are, the 24mm distortion actually makes it feel right at your face, which is kind of interesting. So basically with the same uh, background, I usually just shoot one or two images. Uh, here I'm just uh, started with her bending her back and uh, kicking her legs and all sort of images. I just find it's kind of too flat for me. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, I don't feel such a connection with, with the camera lenses. I realize it's probably because it's a flat wall in the background and she's doing the movement, it makes it too flat. That's why I asked her to try to walk downstairs. In that sense, her legs will be closer to the camera, her body and her face will be further away from the camera to create this illusion of um, the leg is almost coming up to the face, which is beautiful. But all of a sudden, you know, the harsh sunlight came in and we have to back against the wall. So I came up with this idea. I said, why don't we just back against the wall and start to kicking legs? Um, I wouldn't shoot her from, you know, from right front, which is not very um, decent, if that makes sense. So rather I shoot from her side. When she kicks her legs, the toe is still closer to the camera and create this interesting sort of wide angle distortion. And here, that's the second image. You know what? Uh, that's actually the model's idea. So she's very strong female that has her uh, very creative opinion. She said, why don't we try that? I was like, this is great, sure. So she offered to try two poses, legs kicking up, legs bending backwards, and legs extended. And uh, we end up using this image, which is her favorite. So here's a busy city environment. I started with 85 millimeters, but soon found it was too tight. Then I took out the 24 GM. So here's a second reason of using 24 millimeters. It helps you to capture the portrait within a tight space, which the standard uh, portrait lens, such as 85 millimeters, wouldn't be able to do so. Tips will be uh, use 24 millimeters is really good for full body or half body shot. This is really good because um, you know when she jump off the ground with a wide angle, she, it looks like almost she's flying, right? And she's obviously wearing high heel. I wouldn't be able to ask her to jump one or two meters high, but in the image, it just look great. Personally, I wouldn't use 24mm for close-up as it's too much distortion going on for my test. Uh, that's why you guys see I still use 85mm for close-up images. So here's uh, almost like a safe shot, doesn't make sense. Uh, when I shoot with models, there's always, always some safe shots, which in this case will be close up and as well as chest up, as well as three quarters. And those kind of image uh, just keep models portfolio up to date, um, rather than you just go for wow image, just go for the you know full body all the way is to focus on yourself. 
too focused on the photographer's needs rather than the model's needs. I believe the photo shoots needs to make everybody happy. So communicate that beforehand, ask model what would she like, and um, yeah, try to deliver image that makes everybody happy. End of the day, it's a teamwork. It's the model, it's the stylist, the makeup artist, as well as the lighting person. Just don't live in your own little universe, if that makes sense. Tips would be place her head at middle of the image with least distortion and uh, try to put her legs at um, the edge or the corner of the image um, so her legs looks longer. And also make sure you try all possible way of posing. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's always good to shoot a bit more and, uh, and choose later. Let me know if you like to try 24mm for portrait photography. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your My Diary Style. I will see you the next time.